there toss night. Probably at least 10,000 people there. It's wow. one of the really? games to go to. So bring a teddy bear, throw it on the ice once the Giants score. Make sure they score. It's not a false start because we've had that in years past. And so. they will score. They will score. They yes. scored lots last night. Okay. Yeah, so right. hopefully they'll Sounds do it again. Good. Well, it's nice looking at the golf shots that you yeah. had there because of the sunshine. Wasn't yeah. it? You feel starved of sunshine this time of year. It's getting darker right now as darker. we get down. Yeah. I calculated it. We have eight and a quarter hours of sunshine or of oh. daylight hours right now. Getting closer and closer wow. to that sort of peak um, in terms of the, the shortest day. Mm -hmm. But uh, we don't even, we, we, I don't even recognize the sunshine anymore, no. even if we had daylight well, hours anyways. We've had one forecast. storm. That's right, one storm after another. Today we'll see a bit of a yeah. break in terms of just going to see, we're just going to see showers. But we're right back into a stormy conditions or stormy weather into tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday. So anyway, right. we'll tomorrow. learn more about it. At least it's not cold. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. We're back in just a few moments. Stay with us. Holiday meals. And good morning. Well, if you're planning on hitting the slopes this weekend, uh, this weekend is definitely your weekend. Lots of snow on the way, but uh, I guess in terms of wet conditions here on the south coast, not great news. We have a couple storms to talk about. The first one is going to build in overnight tonight. So details about that and what's on the way for next week coming up in not too long. Chilwack Bruins have yet to defeat the Vancouver Way all night after a body was found in a car. Reporter Jennifer Palmer joins us from the scene with the latest. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Jane. As you'd mentioned, we're on the 3300 block of Napier Street at Rupert in Vancouver, where a body was found inside a vehicle. And of course, that vehicle has now been removed. Uh, crime scene is being processed by IDENT as well as major crime and police are still on scene guarding it, making sure they can collect all of their evidence. At around 2 o'clock this morning, neighbors allege that they heard some gun that car. Uh, right now, we don't have a lot more information. Constable Howard Chow with Vancouver Police is on scene. He's gathering some information so that he can let us know the latest of what's going on with this investigation. And as soon as we know, we will, of course, let you know, Jane. All right, thanks so much, Jennifer. Reporter Jennifer Palmer live in East Vancouver this morning. The city of Vancouver is used to getting international recognition, but its latest award is one the city would rather not publicize. Thing, so. Well, good morning. It's 8.07, and Jay's in with sports. Christy in with weather. You're in for yeah, Robin? I'm in for Robin. She's off this weekend. Mm -hmm. So here's the question. Yeah. Is it correlation coincidence? Robin's away this weekend. Bon Jovi comes to town. <laughs> I know she's a big fan of the feathered hair. I'm not sure if it's John or Richie Zambora, but if you see Robin lurking around the hotels uh -huh. or GM Place. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, she's busy spraying her hair right now. They uh -huh. can't have hairspray, so it's out to here. So oh, she can go, right? Right. Oh, well, I don't know. Come she's on. Not. No. She's not. No. I'm just We're saying. I'm just putting it out there. Yeah. She's Draw probably your buying your Christmas present, that's what Jay. It is. Oh, yeah. yeah. We know that's yeah, not it's happening. It's going to take all weekend to buy your Christmas present. It'll take a while to shovel all that coal. Put yeah. in the old yeah. Well, it's a good time to go shopping today. It's going to be rainy and yucky today, and mm -hmm. well, for the next week, essentially. Is yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, it just uh, it just doesn't stop here on the south coast sometimes. Uh, today, though, we will see a bit of a break from the heavy rain and wind that we saw overnight. So we're expecting scattered showers and for areas inland snow. So let's have a look. I wanted to show you a shot of the Coquihalla summit. Mm -hmm. So they've seen about four to five centimeters through the overnight periods and for anyone that is planning on doing some driving today they're expecting another five centimeters throughout the day. If you're heading basically from Hope to Merritt that's where the heaviest amount of snow will be but north of there it will be a little lighter uh, but uh, we're going to continue to see snow as we head into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday as Jane said much of a break wow. so keep that in mind if you're planning on doing the traveling and we'll be uh, highlighting the rest of the mountain passes in a little bit as well so all right thanks Chrissy. we'll mm -hmm. check in with you later and Jay's gonna have sports for us coming up yeah Vancouver Giants have their uh, annual teddy bear toss uh, night goes tonight when they host the Chilliwack Bruins last night the uh, Giants were in Chilliwack taking on the Bruins they have yet to lose a game in regulation time in the year and a half that they've played Chilliwack so We'll show you highlights from last night's big victory in Chilliwack. Canucks conclude their four-game road trip in Edmonton tonight. We'll have a complete NHL wrap for you. And the Anaheim Ducks finally freed up that salary cap room to uh, get uh, Scott Niedermeyer back in the lineup. They made a trade with St. Louis Blues. So we'll outline that for you coming up in sports. We'll take a look at Aaron Giles' first season in Japan playing professional mm -hmm. baseball. So an yeah, interesting look there. All right, sounds good. Okay. We'll join you guys later. Thanks. Uh, coming up, the Saturday chefs are still ahead. And today they will demonstrate an easy tomato and... 
Oh, that's good news. I'll have a tall, reduced fat eggnog latte. That? It's my favorite. <laughs> Grande. <laughs> Grande. What, if, what if the person behind you buys something that's really expensive? Exactly, like the super big ones with all the whipped cream. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's part of it, I guess. Take the chance. Then yeah. you take the yeah. chance. Well, exactly. you might want a nice hot coffee today if you're out doing stuff. It's a little, mm -hmm. it's not cold, but just windy, nope. wet. Windy, yeah. wet, just sort of drizzly and, mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. A little dreary, I Miserable. guess you could say. Miserable. There you go. <laughs> Down <laughs> the upside of things. Okay. No, uh, you're right. It is a little drizzly yeah. out here, but um, I guess the upside would be that what we're going to see today is not nearly as bad as what we're going okay, to see. Okay, good. Tomorrow. There is an upside. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you found it. How's that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is uh, check out our forecast for today throughout okay. the BC area. I wanted to start off with a uh, look at the Almanac. So if like, we can have a look mm -hmm. at that. Basically, we're warming up nicely. There it is. Eight degrees, as you said, mild, normal for the <laughs> <laughs> Normal for this time of year is six degrees, so we're definitely warm. And look at our low. So our low for this uh, time of year should be at around 1, but today will be closer to 5. So we're definitely above normal. And what we were talking about earlier is these days are getting shorter and shorter. Uh, sunrise, I'll step out of the way here. Sunrise is at um, just after 8 o'clock, as you can see here, and then sunset at quarter after 4, basically. So we only have about 8 and a quarter hours of sunshine. So <laughs> if you can get out there and in between the scattered showers that we're going to see today, that's sort of your best chance of the next little while. So let's have a look at things. Our forecast for today is showing mild temperatures across the board really. You can see it's minus 10 and through Fort Nelson, but that's not too bad for this time of year. It's close to where they should be. So warming up this afternoon for that area to minus 9, so not changing much at all. Mainly cloudy skies, as you can see, throughout the province, and possibly a few breaks in the cloud in through Fort St. John. Otherwise, we're looking at scattered flurries throughout. Now, towards the coast, periods of rain expected, more so towards uh, Prince Rupert and Terrace. Terrace, though, expecting snow for a good part of the morning periods. It's just changing to rain as things warm up to three degrees in the afternoon. Now, further south, that's where we're going to see the most amount of wind today So, uh, and the most amount of snow. Further in through areas like Kelowna, Vernon, where you can see we're a little cooler. Kamloops, so mild at one degree. Now, here's a look at the breakdown. So if you're in Revelstoke or closer to the Kootenays or the Columbia regions, that's where you can see the majority of the snow. However, it's not too bad. Two to four centimeters, maybe five centimeters in through the regions. And then into the southern interior, just scattered flurries. Kamloops, though, and Williams Lake, you do have a 40% chance of flurries. Otherwise, it should just be mainly cloudy skies throughout your area. But again, all the mountain passes, you can expect some snow on those uh, regions. So uh, I would not go out unless you have chains or if you're used to uh, driving in those types of conditions. Towards the coast, mild, 7 degrees is our forecast high for uh, Victoria. Same for Campbell River. Vancouver, we're expecting a high of 8 degrees. We're already at 7 degrees. It's mainly cloudy out there right now, but we are expecting expecting scattered showers throughout the area. So onto the island, Port Hardy, four degrees, two degrees in through Campbell River. So there is a slight chance of seeing some wet flurries in through your area. Otherwise, scattered showers throughout. It's up into Whistler that we're expecting the most amount of snow with 10 to 15 centimeters expected by the end of the weekend, Jane. So great news for Whistler. And of course, the local mountains too. Temperatures, I know they're mild, but we are getting snow on the local mountains right now. So that's great. All right, thanks mm -hmm. a lot, Christy. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Jay will have more sports. We're going to go to Christy Gordon now with a look at our weather and a look at a small town here in B.C. Christy? That's right. We're highlighting well, it's not that small of a town, is it really? Uh, Vernon. They have 36,000 people living there. Uh, but what we're doing is highlighting them because uh, we don't often uh, talk about Vernon specifically. So that's why we are. We have a photo that was sent in by Bernie Weiss. So thank you so much, Bernie. Look at this, Vernon this morning. A light dusting of snow. They've seen about, oh, four to five centimeters. Temperatures right now is about minus one. And the wind chill is at minus five. So quite chilly. And Vernon is a great uh, sort of summer and winter destination. Snowfall. Uh, usually is at about 100 centimeters on average throughout the year for a winter destination. Great skiing. Now, this is a shot of the connector. I wanted to show you this because you can see here it is covered in snow. I would recommend not driving the mountain passes if you can avoid it. They're expecting another two centimeters today from the Merritt to Kelowna region. 
Rogers Pass, you can see it's covered in snow as well. Five centimeters of snow still expected throughout your day today. And the next one is Kootenay Pass, where you can barely even see the road. So I would, yes, definitely avoid this area. They're expecting another five centimeters of snow today. And then the last one I wanted to show you, this is a Sea to Sky Highway just south of Whistler. And you can see it looks like the roads are wet or slushy, but they have seen snow in the last little while and they're expecting another another three to five centimeters basically north of Squamish up into Whistler. So uh, yes, if you're not comfortable with dry, uh, driving on sort of snowy conditions, I would recommend maybe not heading up that way. However, it looks like the road, road crews have been out there sort of plowing the area and it looks like things are going to warm up this afternoon. So a lot of that snow will just change to wet snow throughout the day. So, uh, but it will be again through the overnight period uh, that we could see some more snowfall. So great news for the mountains. It's just not great news in terms of driving conditions Jane coming up next though we'll check out our long-term forecast and we'll have a look at the systems the couple more that are on the way basically starting for overnight tonight over to you all right thanks a lot Christy we're going to take a break when we come back it is a community angel day tomorrow the Greater Vancouver Food Bank Society we'll have more on how you can help out when the Saturday morning news returns stay with tomorrow all right we're going to go over to Christy Gordon with a look at our forecast and our long-range forecast Christy hopefully uh Hopefully we'll see sun maybe as we get into Christmas, <laughs> 10 days from now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully is the key. You're right. Uh, it is mainly cloudy out there right now, Jane. And we are looking at uh, scattered showers throughout the day. So maybe if you're planning on heading out to do a little shopping and pick up something for the food bank, make sure you write it down on your list when you're heading out. Uh, th this is a good day to do that shopping because it isn't going to be that nice. But as we head into tomorrow, things are actually going to get a little worse. So if you do need to get outside at all. Today's your day. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe you haven't set up your lights throughout your, uh, th over through your house. Basically, you can do that today because it's going to be drier than tomorrow. Now, what we're looking at, if we have a look at our uh, satellite image, is basically a frontal band over our province. It's very weak. The heaviest part has now moved uh, into some of the Alberta regions. You can see it right in through there, but we're still dealing with the last bits of it. So that's why we're going to see scattered showers today and then flurries for areas is inland. The heaviest amount will be in through southern BC. So there's our break, but we have another system that's going to move in through the overnight periods tonight. So uh, that's what we're going to check out in our long-term forecast. So a uh, quick look at our uh, almanac shows a high of eight degrees right now, and uh, that's what we're going to see. So we're above normal. Here's a look at the temperatures in through the north. Minus 10 in through Fort Nelson, Fort St. John at minus eight, and things will warm up to about minus nine. So we're expecting uh, mainly cloudy skies throughout some breaks in through the Fort St. John area and then towards the coast we'll see milder temperatures so periods of rain there however in Terrace you are looking at snow right now but you can see that change over to rain in the afternoon as things warm up to three degrees as for the southern regions well, quite mild, as you can see. Now, normal for this time of year is about minus 5 degrees in through the morning period. So you're a couple degrees above normal, except in through the Cranbrook area, where you can see you're at minus 7 right now. Everywhere, going, we're going to see mainly cloudy skies. Now, in through Williams Lake and Kamloops, that's where you have the best chance of staying dry today. Southern regions, just south of there, that's where you have a better chance of seeing a few flurries. It will be very scattered. And then towards the Columbia region, the Kootenai region, and that's where you can see about two to four centimeters, possibly five centimeters near Revelstoke and Nelson. And then towards the coast, mild seven, eight degrees, scattered showers expected. And you can see West Vancouver's at four degrees right now, but Vancouver at the airport, we're at seven degrees. So we're not going to change much at all in terms of temperature. On the island, there's a few areas that are a little cooler. You can see Port Alberni at three degrees and Campbell River at two, but most areas are quite mild for this time of year, warming up to seven degrees through most areas on the island. Tofino expecting eight degrees and periods of rain, and then periods of rain up near Port Hardy as well. But most other areas just scattered showers, so light today. As for Whistler, well, 10 to 15 centimeters is expected by the end of the day tomorrow with a high of zero degrees. So uh, that snow is expected right down into the village. So it's it should be a beautiful winter wonderland and we have the possibility of seeing some wet snow on Monday and Tuesday Jane mostly just at higher elevations but we could see a little bit through the overnight periods temperatures are dropping down to about two degrees coming up next we'll have a look at our uh, we'll close a look at our long-term forecast for the rest of the province all right thanks a lot Christy well we'll get a chance to see some sunshine next Jay is taking us to the golf course We've 
www.bc.ca. Teddy Bear tossing into the call. See him mm -hmm. 7 o'clock. Chilliwack Bruins in town. Expecting a crowd in excess of 10,000. They can come small. They can come large. Just <laughs> chuck them on the ice when the Giants score. And the uh, Canucks are in Edmonton. They conclude their four-game road trip tonight, 7 o'clock. All right. I mean, you know how you were bugging Robin about maybe going to uh, the concert tonight? Mm -hmm. John, John, John Bon, bon Jovi. Jovi. I think she's actually heading to the game. She's collecting all her teddy bears. Ready to talk She's MIA. We just know she's weekend. not at work. Yes. That's it. So, no. Really, we're just jealous. Yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're happy to be here. It's okay. We're nice to have you. Thank yeah. you. Well, we've got another hour left. Stay with us. We're back in just a few moments. <laughs> Hot meals. And good morning. Well, the airport is reporting mainly cloudy skies, and you can see that here behind me. However, we're expecting scattered showers today and very mild temperatures, a high of 8 degrees here on the coast. Further inland, though, there is snow on the way for today, but not nearly as much snow as we'll see through the overnight periods when another system moves in. I have to break down the couple storms that are on the way, and we'll, we'll have that in about 10 minutes' time. Good morning, everybody. We'll see if the Canucks can uh, even their road record. For most of the morning, that is after a man was found dead in a car. Reporter Jennifer Palmer joins us now from the scene with the latest. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. That's right. A man was found dead in a car. Uh, police say that this was a targeted shooting at around two this morning. Police were called into the 3300 block of Napier and Rupert into the alleyway um, after there were reports that neighbors say they heard two shots at least being fired. Emergency crews were called in at that point, including major crimes and ident. <clears throat> a man, a 45-year-old man, was found here for the better part of the day. Police can't confirm if the man is known to them at this point and if there was any sort of gang affiliation here. And again, as uh, Constable Chow had mentioned, this was a targeted attack. Jane. All right, thanks so much, Jennifer. Jennifer Palmer live this morning in East Vancouver. Less than a week after a report by the Commissioner of Complaints said the RCMP have been firing tasers too often. Off Gold medals. That's what we hope. Jay Janner mm -hmm. is in with sports, Christy Gordon with weather, and mm -hmm. uh, you were saying that this should be the fastest. Uh, we have been told that it is the yeah, fastest, fastest track in, uh, in, in North world? America that's yeah. been designed. Could be in the world. We'll have to oh. wait and see once they finally mm -hmm. get out there. But yeah, the bobsled, the luge, they're just going to wow. rock it down there. Sounds good. All right. Pop so on the toboggan. Exciting. Let's go, girls. Yeah, absolutely. Boom. Well, we'll have some rain here, but they should have some more snow up there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So great news for anyone that wants to uh, hit the slopes. Yes. So if you were planning on hitting the slopes this weekend, it is a good weekend. I know a lot of you, though, are probably trying to get some last minute Christmas shopping done. And we are expecting scattered showers today. It's mainly cloudy at the airport right now, but we'll see spotty showers throughout the day. Temperatures will be mild, about 8 degrees. Now, what we have to talk about today, though, is another storm that's moving in tonight. Starting through the overnight periods, we're going to see heavy rain and wind. There's some wind warnings to talk about, and that does mean snow for uh, sort of higher elevations, though, but just the mountain pass. Not higher elevations in terms of um, driving conditions. Just good news for the uh, Coast Mountains, so that's great. And we were talking about it's the anniversary of the big wind storm in Stanley Park from last year. We shouldn't yes. be having anything quite that bad in terms of gale force winds. No. So what we're expecting is that most of the wind warnings right now that are, are in place, they're for tonight on the island and then the Sunshine Coast. So we don't actually have any wind warnings for the lower mainland as of yet. So we'll keep you updated All on right. that, though. Good news for mm -hmm. the park. Thanks, Christy. <sighs> Sports, Jay? Well, yeah. unless Roberto Luongo makes a miraculous yeah. recovery, uh, recovery, I don't think he's going to play tonight against the Oilers as the Canucks conclude their four-game road trip. We'll talk about that game. We'll show you complete highlights from uh, last night's uh, schedule. It wasn't a super busy schedule. The Flames keep on winning, though, as do the Toronto Maple Leafs. And it's uh, Teddy Bear Toss Night at the Coliseum. <laughs> Here you go, Princess. You didn't get to throw one earlier. Yeah, you get to throw oh, one. Right so, Giants and Bruins, 7 o'clock at the Coliseum. And uh, earlier we had uh, our lovely Jane Kerrigan, you know, mm -hmm. Showing us what happens when the Giants score the first goal. Yeah. Do you, have you had before? a blue one? I had a is blue one. That's right. You get the purple one. So there we go. Oh, right. There oh, we go. I almost took almost the camera out. The camera. <laughs> Seven o'clock at the call scene. How many teddy bears do you have up there? You've had a few this morning. Joey Kenner dropped yep. off three. Three. Pink, blue, yeah. purple. Yep. Got them all. Whole shebang. Right Good stuff. Yeah, all right. Go to some needy, uh, needy youngsters. Good. Wonderful. Find a home. You bet. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, what does it take to create a board game and then get it onto the marketplace? We're going to find out what the Okanagan creator of. 
Welcome back. Uh, Christy Gordon is in with a look at our weather, mm -hmm. full BC weather, and we've got some new photos of Vernon. Some people are, are now awake. They're sending in some pictures. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it took a while. <laughs> They're a little slow. Well, it's snowy and cold there. I'd probably stay in bed too. Yeah, yeah exactly. I would too. A cup of coffee, yeah. stay in bed where it's nice <laughs> and warm. Thanks, Jane. Well, here's a shot sent in by Jack and Mary Shuri of uh, Vernon, and this was taken this morning. So obviously if this is their backyard holy can you imagine beautiful regardless of how much snow or cold temperatures that uh, you're experiencing up through there that is a beautiful shot so this is okanagan lake they said looking east and then there's another one to show you here as well and uh, so these are both taken this morning from their yard so thank you so much to you both for sending those in those are spectacular now you've seen a few centimeters of snow in through the Vernon and through most of the southern interior regions in fact and you could see another two to four through the day today. It should be fairly light. We're waiting for another system to move in overnight and that will start to change things and we could see heavier rain on the south coast here and then snow for areas further inland. Right now on the south coast Temperatures are about 7, 8 degrees, depending on where you are. And you saw in that tower cam shot, it's mainly cloudy. Now today, we're just expecting scattered showers, so fairly light. And then later on today, we'll start to see things change. So our high today, 8 degrees. Normal is 6, so we're above normal in terms of temperature, especially when you consider the low being 5 degrees and normal is at 1. So very mild, although we are certainly soggy, aren't we? So here's a look at the temperatures in through the north. Minus 10 in through Fort Nelson. Smithers minus two right now. Most areas are they're going to see mainly cloudy skies. Fort St. John has a chance of seeing some sunny breaks. Otherwise, scattered flurries throughout the area towards the coast is where you can expect periods of rain. Now, Terrace, you're still seeing that flurries this morning, but you're going to warm up to about three degrees, so you could see that flurry activity change to periods of rain as things warm up. Now, through the south, Temperatures are quite mild for this time of year. Vernon, you can see you're at minus two, but there is a wind chill right now of about minus five. And uh, that is the case throughout many areas. We're expecting very windy conditions through the south as uh, that frontal system moves across. So you can expect a lot of these temperatures to drop another two, three degrees possibly. These are your highs for this afternoon, mainly cloudy throughout. Nelson and Revelstoke expecting about five centimeters of snow today. So that means the, the uh, Rogers Pass, the Kootenai Pass, you can expect about five centimeters through the day today. A little bit less in through Cranbrook with two to four centimeters expected. And then through Kelowna and Vernon, just scattered flurries. So very spotty in terms of your flurry activity. North of there into Kamloops and Williams Lake, mainly cloudy. And then towards the coast, that's where we're expecting uh, just scattered showers today. These are your temperatures, so it's quite, there's quite a variation. Whistler's at one degree right now, West Vancouver at four, Agassiz also at four degrees, but most other areas at about six, seven degrees, and our high for today should be closer to eight, so we're not going to change much in terms of temperature. Campbell River, one degree right now, so you do have the possibility of seeing some wet flurries, otherwise just scattered showers up and through the eastern sections of the island, and then western sections of the island could see periods of rain later on in the day, Port Hardy as well. Vancouver scattered showers and then up towards Whistler 10 to 15 centimeters of snow and this is by the end of the day tomorrow. So Jane there's our major storm It's going to roll in overnight affect us throughout the day tomorrow then Monday and Tuesday another couple systems on the way and temperatures are going to drop slightly. So that's where we have the potential of seeing some wet snow at higher elevations. So we have to sort of keep our eye on that of course for the commute to work on Monday morning. Right, thanks yeah. so much Christy. You're welcome. Scientists in the U.S. say many breast cancer patients shouldn't have to undergo chemotherapy. Dr. Art Hister will explain why when we return with Health News. That's next. Christy Gordon joins us now with a look at that national forecast where it is going to be very stormy uh, back east. Christy? Mm -hmm. It's areas, uh, Jane, like Windsor that could see up to 40 centimeters of snow. They're a little bit closer to some of the lakes. So as that system makes its way up from the south, if we have a look at the map, it moves up from the south, it has a chance of picking up moisture from the lakes and then dumping it on the other side. Areas like Toronto as well could see 30 to 35 centimeters from this storm. And as you said, the winds from this storm are going Going to be extremely strong creating whiteout conditions. Now further north into areas like Montreal today they're expecting sunshine temperatures are quite cool though with a high of minus 14. However that system will push a little bit further into their, those areas as we head into tomorrow they can experience that. Also snow expected in Halifax and St. John's for tomorrow or for today that is. Winnipeg looking at snow today but further west of there into Regina expecting just a mix of sun and cloud. Alberta mainly cloudy today. 
and we are certainly wet here on the south coast expecting just scattered showers today but we will see a storm move in a little bit later and we have some photos uh, that were sent in by Vicky Okay, well, we can have a look at the map, too. Uh, here's this photo sent in by Vicky, and this was taken just this morning. And, you know, uh, Vernon, they've seen a lot of snow, as you can see here. So maybe if you've already gotten your Christmas shopping done, you can get out and enjoy the Nordic Paradise, which is a Sovereign Lake cross-country ski area in Vernon. They have 40 kilometers worth of well-groomed trails, so you can do cross-country skiing or regular downhill skiing. And then there's also, uh, in Silver Star, they have guided tours on snowmobiles that you could do today. So if you're looking for activities, there you go. Coming up next, uh, we'll have a look at that long-term forecast, Jane. All right, thanks so much, Christy. We'll check back with you in a moment. It has been a long haul for the BC entrepreneur of Gift Trap, a board game now on toy stores. We'll hear from him right after this break. wrap under the tree this Christmas. Thanks for joining us. Thank we you. appreciate it. Pleasure. Thanks, Nick. Okay, we are going to go back to Christy with a look at our long-range forecast where you might want to stay in and play some games, Christy, because it's yes. going to be nice out there. Exactly. I was going to say the perfect gift to maybe give someone a little bit earlier than Christmas, though, so that they can learn what you like, and then as you head towards Christmas, they can help you out uh, with some gifts that you actually do like instead of opening up something you don't necessarily need. Uh, yes, so today would be a good day to play a game. Um, gift trap would be a good one. You can see the tower cams shaking there a bit. We have had windy conditions through the overnight periods. We saw gusts up to 50 kilometers an hour. Now it's eased off a little bit. Right now we're looking at southerly winds at about 26 kilometers an hour. Mainly cloudy, but there are some scattered showers out there. So it'll be very spotty today, but not that heavy. If we do see it at all, it should just be scattered showers. So we'll fly in with the Remax satellite and check out the uh, satellite to have a look at sort of some of the, the systems that are on the way. One is over the province right now. You can see the, the white right across there. Now it's fairly light. What we're watching now is this next system approaching uh, the coastal regions as we speak, but we're expecting it to hit the south coast through the overnight periods tonight. And that's when we can expect the rain and the wind to pick up by about midnight. And then we have another system off in the distance. So we're just going to see one after another over the next little while, unfortunately. BC Peace River, you are going to head towards sunshine this afternoon. Your clear skies will continue overnight and you'll wake up to sunshine again tomorrow morning but then late in the day you can expect the snow to return once again and that's going to last through your Monday and your Tuesday. White Horse as well looking at a few flurries this morning. Sunshine by the afternoon a high of minus four so not too bad. Fairly mild for this time of year. North Coast looking at six degrees closer to the water. Periods of rain today but snow for areas further inland like Smithers and Terrace. Tomorrow you'll ease off to showers but you're back into the rain and cooler temperatures on Monday and Tuesday. Caribou Central Interior, mainly cloudy for you, and you're expecting scattered flurries today, so very spotty. Tomorrow you'll warm up to 3 degrees, so you have a potential of seeing those flurries change over to periods of uh, just showers. 2 to 4 centimeters for the Columbia Kootenai region today. Scattered flurries for tomorrow, so lighter for your day tomorrow. Thompson, Okanagan, just a slight chance of flurries for you today, but you have a better chance tomorrow. Temperatures do warm up to about 3 degrees in the afternoon, so you'll see those flurries change over to showers. Whistler, 5 centimeters today, another 4 possible flurries through the overnight periods tonight and 10 centimeters expected uh, through the day tomorrow. So in my opinion, Monday's the day you want to hit the slopes. Less crowds, more snow. <laughs> That's the one I'm going to anyways. Well, uh, Vancouver Island looking at scattered showers and periods of rain for tomorrow. That's the same for us. So very scattered today, Jane. Windy conditions, but overnight tonight we'll see the majority of the rain push in. Monday and Tuesday we'll continue to see periods of rain. Temperatures are cooling off though, so some of the higher elevations have the potential of seeing some wet flurries at this point in time. We're going to sort of watch as things develop as we head towards Monday and Tuesday though. All right, thanks so much, Christy. Well, poinsettias are everywhere this Christmas season, but do you know how to take care of them? Thomas Hobbs will answer that question when the Saturday morning... 13 under. Giants hosting their teddy bear toss. Canucks play in Edmonton. They conclude their four-game homestand. <laughs> there it is, Gordo's toss and teddies. <laughs> Little or big, it doesn't matter. All right, that's it for us. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. We're back today at noon. Bye. Bye-bye.